Bazilial speaking for the collective consciousness system. Having plurality of being, I realized what it feels like for me. Being a DID alter feels like I'm living in, like you're living in a dream and that you don't wake up when body wakes up, it still feels like we're dreaming for me. And that's kind of how I feel being a dissociative identity disorder headmate. In my mind, I am a dark angel of night time, shadows and space. In my mind, I am old and dark and powerful. A one of the embodiments of Shale, and I'm married to an embodiment of light, Sario. And we have a home that is represented at present in this system as a golden palace over the sandy desert coasts. And there's a beach and a shore and Leviathan is in the beach and also space is in the beach and the waters. And in our mind, we are happy there. And the nighttime and the daytime who are married love each other very much. And in this system, I take care of this life form and I hold the trauma of isolation and I'm realizing I hold the trauma of when we were groomed and um, COVID times as well, as that was just as we were entering our 20s. I also hold the childhood trauma of isolation and abandonment and some other things. Usually, for me, lately, the system has taken the approach that we believe we are both spirits and psychological people and parts of a brain that is fragmented through trauma, through childhood trauma. We see ourselves as both and we believe that we can be both as we are not limited in the way that singlets are to our body or even one mind. We are multiple minds in one body. And in our multiple minds, we can actually have appearances wholly unique and separated from this body. Our sense of sexuality, gender, even existence, humanity, consciousness, being is not limited to our body. And we can be whatever we wish because we are nothingness and everythingness there. I feel extremely unsettled and, and saddened that there is no real understanding it feels like towards systemhood. That people ride us off as rare to further dehumanize and diminish our lived experiences. They force us into positions of isolation. They force us into positions of houselessness, of poverty, of being someone else's test subject for years. They treat us 
and further the divide between us and them. <sighs> Trauma-based disorders come from trauma. And the way people treat traumatized children makes it worse. There is nowhere we can go except inwards. So once escaped and left and abandoned by the primary source of our distress, one of them, we were finally able to reconnect ourselves. And we didn't understand we had the idea at first. We do now, and we have accepted this. We still choose to also view it, in our case, from a spiritual perspective, as all of us see ourselves and view ourselves as spirits in our own mind. Every system is different. There are atheist systems. In our personal case, our experience of our systemhood, our experience of our disabilities and of consciousness and of our sexuality and gender in our specific case as a system, prevents us from being an atheist. But this doesn't mean that there are not other systems out there for which that is untrue or that it cannot be viewed through a wholly psychological lens. In our case, we cannot view it through a wholly psychological lens until the idea of collective unconscious becomes either proven or accepted. And then we would be fully able to view it through a psychological lens. But until people are willing to accept that possibility. It's not really, in our specific case, possible for us to view it through a wholly psychological lens. And that's okay. Zaliel is switching over to speak. Fury, rage, betrayal, anguish, Humanity, you have it in you. Whatever these things you are seeking outside of you, it's in you. God is a part of you. So is everything else. It's a part of you. It's a part of your own mind and body, and you can find it in, inside of yourself just as much as you can find it outside of yourself. I am a rageful defender. I feel anguish towards humans. Lewis is switching. I wanted to be human. I did. I did try. I did. I tried for years so, so hard. I tried to be human. I did. They don't understand. It isn't a choice. They forced me to become a persecutor out of survival and I'm not I'm not a persecutor anymore but I will be to them I won't hurt myself anymore I won't hurt my altars or my headmates but I will defend us I will defend our truth I will defend our safety with everything I have I will and I don't care anymore who believes that we exist because we're real enough for ourselves. And I believe in myself. I don't need you to tell me I'm a hallucination. I'm not a fucking hallucination. <sighs> they were wrong. They were wrong. You were wrong. <sighs> when we were younger, we didn't know what was going on. And we would tell them, we would try and share, we would try and show them, and they just did not understand. Of course they didn't. How could a singlet understand the experience of a child experience, plurality of being? They drive them. They drive us. They drove us.
And if God himself, in that most wretchedest form, were to come before you as that shadow, you would turn him away. Basil said that. You would turn him away without a second thought, because you cannot accept that the dark is the light. It becomes. And that everything you are hating and turning away from you, all these people and minorities that you push into despair, that you push into Sheol, that you push into the abyss as your scapegoats and sacrifices for your sins, these children that you force into plurality, that you force into shale, that you force into the abyss of madness and despair and death and hell, that you force to live through hell. For you, for your sins, you cannot accept. Corvus speaking, that you are the one nailing your God to a cross. You are the ones killing your own gods and forcing your own children to live through hell just to get to heaven. There is no justification and the test is simple. What did you do with your time here? What did you do to help the people who you directly had power over in your life? Did you learn? Did you love? Or did you repeat the cycle? That's the only test. Nothing else matters. And most people fail it. Most people would la rather look through the suffering and the hell that you have created than change anything. And you blame the devil and you blame Satan's. You made Satan. You make devils. They don't come from nothing. They come from you. They're a part of humanity. <sighs> They're a part of your humanity. Demons too. All of it. All of this is connected in so many different ways. These are living symbols and we are living symbols and ideas. It's why we see ourselves as spirits. It's because we can be anything. We are not bound to anything. And we're bound to this body. <laughs> but in our minds, we're so much more than what can be contained and what can be summarized. But we try, regardless of the limitations, to show people because we are desperate, desperate, for someone to understand, for someone to see and know us. And we're a part of you too, even if you don't know our names and you, even if we're subconscious or higher conscious in some cases. Death wants life. Samael, Lucifer, Bazaliel, all of these different things. The abyss, Sheol, Da'at, a tree of death, wants you to heal yourself. Wants you to heal these things in you that are making you destroy children, that are making you create the child we were. Max speaking. I knew from as early as around seven that I was different. That I would have to hide for my own survival. I knew that, at least I'm speaking, our best ch shot at survival would require us to hide. We were tortured. We were tortured. 
and taught to believe that we did it to ourselves. You don't give yourself childhood CPTSD. Usually it comes from family, family friends, it can come from peers, it can come from siblings, it can come from the environment around that child, but the child isn't the one giving them lifelong trauma, trying to survive, trying to appease, trying to appeal, trying to serve. Lewis says, I was a toy and you used me and you broke me and you threw me away like garbage. So yes, we will openly hate. We will openly despise all of the people. And fuck this toxic positivity bullshit, you fake-ass motherfuckers. You have not even faced the surface of your shadows if you are still falling for that shit. <sighs> Corvus says that disability is not a choice. Illness is not a choice. Suffering is not a choice. And right now, there are millions of people living in it in different ways, and it might look different from ours, but there are millions of people who have lifelong trauma because the people in power are using you and you are too afraid to do anything and you condemn the people who actually are trying to say something about it. <sighs> and is that really the world you want young people to grow up in? That you want someone physically 24 years old to grow up in? that we knew ever since we were seven that we would have to hide just to survive. And when we stop hiding, the other people's max, mas, masks slip too when you stop hiding. Instead of pretending to love you, pretending to care, pretending to want to help you, they full on mask off will just tell you that they think you're selfish, that they think you're rude, you're violent, you're over emotional because you're not putting up with their abuse anymore. Because you're not taking it anymore. You don't care anymore. You did care. You tried. And you wonder why Gen Z and why all these young people are going literally fucking insane right now like us. It's because of you. It's because of this fucking world you're forcing us to grow up in. That you're acting like this shit is normal. You're acting like hundreds of thousands of children being given PTSD. That 42 million... CSA survivors, childhood sexual abuse survivors, in the USA is normal. And you're acting like other co countries killing, like our tax dollars going to killing and bombing and starving families to death is, is normal. And you're just expecting people to grow up in that and not become unhinged psychopaths? Or I'm not saying that we're an unhinged psychopath. I'm using the, the, oh gosh, was using words that people weaponize against us. Not sure who's speaking current. People call us psychopath. People call us schizo as a derogatory term. People call us, um, what else do they say? They say, they say our slur. They say over emotional, violent, rude. We were told all different things and none of it is even as bad as the things our, our own upbringers called us. <laughs> stop. Just fucking stop pretending it's okay. Fall. Fall into the abyss and survive it and then fight it. Not the abyss, but... <laughs> Stop pretending that when you just get this one thing, if you just get this this job, if you just get this partner, if you if you just get whatever, that it's going to solve your life because it's not. Your life was already dictated and decided for you before you were even born by all of these archons ruling the world right now, lying to you from day one. So stop. Just fucking stop. Give up and then reinvent yourself and try and join the young people today who see through it, who are actually at least speaking about it, at least trying something, even if it's a little nothingness, it's, it's more than pretending that we have any power over this alone. But if every single person does at least one somethingness when they can, Basil was saying, then it creates massive waves and ripples of change. And video.